The fall of the Roman Empire left an opportunity for another empire to gain supremacy. The Prophet Muhammad, an orphan brought up by his uncle, would go on to change the world with an unimaginably influential faith. In the year 610 AD, in a cave within the hills outside of the city Mecca, Muhammad had a vision of an angel. This angel told him to preach the revelations that would soon be given to him by God. Muhammad did exactly this, as he preached the oneness of God to the people of Mecca. Eventually, Muhammad and his followers left Mecca and resettled in Medina, where he continued to spread God's revelations. The formation of Islam brought together the Arab tribes, first under the Umayyads, from 661 to 750, and then under the Abbasids, from 750 to 1258. The Abbasid Empire was the golden age of the Islamic Empire, where trade routes opened that spread wealth across the Near East and Asia. Baghdad was the capital of the Islamic world in 750, and it was home to the House of Wisdom, an intellectual center of learning. Years of prosperity in the Islamic Empire allowed for various intellectual advancements that in many cases would lay the foundation for modern studies. Mathematical ideas that were transmitted from the Islamic Empire into Christendom are often credited to the Europeans. The Hindu-Arabic numeral system created by Muslims has evolved into the numbers that are used by the modern world. Topics of Muslim books regarding non-Euclidean geometry, algebra, and trigonometry appeared in books published by the likes of Copernicus almost one century later. A model of the anatomy of the human body that originated in the Islamic Empire was used for centuries after it was produced, influencing the medical studies of that era. The Muslims were the first to quarantine the men treat, a method of hospitalization that is used in modern day. They knew that in-air organisms caused disease as a result of their research, where Europeans could not know this because such research was considered blasphemous in Christianity. Finally, Muslims were the first to create a telescope based on their knowledge of how the human eye worked. In Cordoba, Spain, mathematical innovations as well as the Hebrew language was rediscovered by Jewish, Christian, and Muslim scholars. The philosophy of the Greeks was translated and preserved in Muslim libraries in Cordoba as well. Arabian and Islamic styles of music using the modal tone system caught on in the West. Zuriab Blackbird was a musician from Baghdad and moved to Cordoba in the 800s. He founded the first music school in Europe, as well as Andalusian music, which has had an impact on the development of Spanish music. During the 1200s, the Mongols conquered Baghdad. Although the intellectual advancements of the Abbasid Empire would remain, this marks the beginning of the decline of the Islamic Empire. The internal struggles of the empire involving the Sunni-Shiite religious split also led to its fall. The power that was left was divided among the Ottomans, the Safavid, and the Mughals. The Ottomans rose to complete power however eventually became militarily weak compared to countries like Britain, France, and Russia. During World War I, the Ottomans allied with Germany, where they were promised independence. Instead, the Ottomans were overtaken, eventually leading to the problems that the Middle East faces today. If the Islamic Empire achieved so much, then why is so little known about it? European imperialism may be the answer. 
Europe's military and diplomatic powers have overshadowed what the Islamic Empire has accomplished during its golden age. Orientalism, explored by Edward Said, suggests that countries of the East, in this case specifically the Middle East, are not as colonized or civilized as those of the West. Regardless of Western stigmas on Middle Eastern society, the achievements of the Islamic Empire greatly affected world history.